Download software from the official Software Bro website. After the download is complete, start the program. The first step is to agree to the license terms and conditions and the warning about the loss of warranty. Then wait until the installation is complete and click launch and exit. How to use the AMD Ryzen Master. After running the program, you need to confirm again that you agree with the risk. The program gives you a lot of possibilities to overclock your PU and RAM, but let's first understand its interface, so that you don't get confused anywhere. The top panel has the reset button to reset the settings to their default state, settings to open the settings, and help to open the help. Here you will also find information about the program. There will also be buttons to apply the settings. In the upper left corner there is an expand button, which allows you to see a graph of PU temperature and frequency. Information panel, just under the top panel there is another panel with information about the current temperature, core frequency, and power consumption, we will talk about these parameters later. Workspace here are the main switches and settings with which we're going to overclock the processor. The first profile is read only, so you can't change anything yet. The bottom panel allows you to choose a profile with settings. Four profiles are available Game Mode, Creator Mode, Profile and Profile. Here you can also find buttons to save and export the profile. First of all, let's evaluate the current state of the processor. To do this, take a look at the information panel. Here you see the following parameters. Temperature, the temperature of the processor. Peak speed, the processor's recent maximum frequency. Hat, the total power consumption of the PU socket. TAC, expressed as a percentage of the motherboard's maximum capability. Represents the current draw in relation to the amount of current that will cause increased heat dissipation. EC represents the maximum amount of current in a short period. Also expressed as a percentage of the motherboard's capability. TAC shows the temperature. You can determine if you can overclock your processor by these parameters. If the processor temperature is too high is a lot, you should think about a better cooling system. And if the PAPT indicator reaches peak values, you may want to use a motherboard with a stronger power supply. It is also advisable to run some stress test on the processor and see how these parameters change. You can see the changes in temperature and frequency by clicking expand. Let's assume you are satisfied that all is well, and you can try to overclock. The current profile cannot be edited. Let's select profile by simply clicking on it in the bottom panel. As you see many items are now active and you can change them. Configuring the cores. The first thing we can do is turn the cores on and off. The line where the frequency of each core was displayed is now active. Here the cores are divided into two blocks X and TEX. The gold star indicates the fastest core. The silver one is the second fastest core. The silver dots indicate the next fastest cores within one block. To disable a kernel, simply click the green button of the desired kernel. Ryzen Master will inform you that the kernel is disabled. You can enable it in the same way. Note that the settings are not applied immediately. To apply them you need to save and apply the profile. To be able to change the processor frequency you must select manual in the control mode section. Now you can set the frequency and voltage for each core separately or for all of them at once. To do this simply click on a core or press the all cores button. To change the frequency use the up and down arrow buttons. To apply the profile you just created, first save it. To do this, click the Save Profile button on the bottom panel. Then click the Apply button on the top panel. After clicking this button, the settings are immediately applied. You can see the result in Winfo. You can also click the Apply and Test button to have the program immediately perform a stress test of the new configuration. That's all. Like it and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.